Have you ever asked yourself, what is a touch? Is this a touch? Is it? Is it? Is it though? Maybe. Maybe not. You're the one that wants to improve your touch by 89%. Well, thank God for this. This contraption, as you can clearly see, will improve your touch 89%. Follow me to the classroom. What we have in store for you today to improve your touch by 89%. Good, let me quickly explain the math to you. As you can see, it stands for itself. It's quite simple. Pi equals 21 squared minus monster truck. One of the most essential parts of this is the little dap. Bowser! You continue on, Kardashian over Kanye, the most important line. What you see here is obviously volute times three million equals yerp. Classic formula, Goleremi, subscribe, like, comment. To solve the equation, YouTube equals Golaremi. Random number, just follow the instructions, it's simple. It equals a goal, minus the pass, 89% improved touch. You're welcome. All right guys, welcome to day 21 day challenge and our channel are all about making you better and faster and stronger and all of those things as quick as possible. So today we have a few tips that are going to immediately change your game, specifically your touch. Let's go. Number one, you can improve your touch immediately by not having to worry about where you're gonna go with the ball. All of that uncertainty will cause indecision and you're more likely to take a bad touch. Each situation in the game will have an infinite number of options. There's not much of a rule we can give as to what you should do besides to attack the space. Taking your first touch in the right direction into space will make the game easier for you without a doubt. Now, if you completely locked an unbendable straight leg or you don't lock your ankle and you keep it weak, you're gonna run into problems. So let's get that out of the way immediately. When receiving a pass, you wanna lock your ankle and prepare to cushion the ball. But that's just the beginning. If you wanna take it to the next level, you need to not only know where you're going, but you need to make sure the ball does exactly what you want it to. Rather than trying to take all of the pressure off of a hard pass by just sticking your leg out, what can be more efficient is to convert and deflect some of that forward motion into a spin. More often than not, the ball will drop in a way that allows you to take your next touch without missing a beat. So look as B hits a ball unnecessarily hard at me from close range. Notice that I angle my foot out in a way that's going to make make the ball spin. Also notice that I let my foot cushion the ball by moving it backwards at the exact same time the ball hits my leg. This will allow you to settle balls that you would normally not have any chance of controlling. One of the best ways to train this is with a wall. Of course, if you have someone to pass with, that's fine. But with a wall, you get more reps done in a small amount of time. Hit the ball off the wall and really look to cushion it and create that spin so the ball stops in a perfect position in front of you. In the game, you'll also look to take touches with the inside and outside of your foot, so we'll train both. This is something that needs to be practiced over and over again. When you're hitting the ball off the wall, you wanna play the ball firmly. Don't smash it, but you wanna test yourself, so play it well. After you settle it, take a couple of touches to the left or the right and then cut back and go again. Do not fear messing up in games and especially in training. Hit a few that pop up on you and some that make you move left or right. The ultimate goal is to challenge yourself. You can always improve, so look to do that today. So to recap, if you can create this spin when you receive a pass, you will without a doubt improve your ability to control the ball. As you become more refined, you'll notice that you start to do it without even thinking about it, and that's what we're after. All right guys, so this is the kind of stuff that we as pros have to make automatic in our game. So practice this, use this stuff, it will improve your game. If you like all the videos that we're throwing at you right now, leave us a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our Patreon page, Snapchat, all that stuff. See you guys later. Peace!